I am the union worker that Joe Biden tried to intimidate. Poor shit. You're pushing up your AR-14s or what? Joe Biden wants to take my AR-14. Let's just not tell him what it really is. AR-14. I got this the day after I talked to Joe. I'm sure that's not the result he was going for. My name is Jerry Wayne, and all I wanted to do is ask a presidential candidate a question. I didn't intend to start a fight. All I did was ask Joe how he was going to win over the union vote when he's planning on coming after our guns with Beto O'Rourke. Hell yes, we're gonna take your AR-15, your AK-47. I watched a video where he wanted to make assault weapons, or America's most popular rifle, illegal. So I asked him about it. Instead of answering me honestly, he acted like he never said it at all. You are actively trying to diminish our Second Amendment right and take away our guns. You're full of shit. So when you were with Beto, no. you said you are going to take our guns. I did, that. I did not say that. That's not true. I did not say that. It's a viral video. And you say I'm full of shit? Really, Joe? All I did was ask you about your own comments. So the, to, to gun owners out there who say, well, a Biden administration means they're going to come for my guns. Bingo. You're right if you have an assault weapon. The fact of the matter is they should be illegal, period. At one point, he asked me if I wanted to go outside. I want to go outside. There's a lot of guys. Why, Joe? To smell all the freedom? And then I ended up telling him, you work for me. And then he went and told me, no. You guys want me, man? I'm not working. Politicians that have been in office for as long as Joe Biden need to be reminded that they work for us. We do not work for them. Americans should be able to ask candidates seeking the highest office what's going to happen to their rights. If they vote them into office, Joe Biden can call me all the names he wants but it doesn't change the fact that he's on video promising to have Beto O'Rourke lead the effort on gun confiscation. You're gonna take care of the gun problem with me. You're gonna be the one who leads this effort. I'm counting on you. I think Biden made a huge miscalculation when he threatened to strip us Americans of our gun rights. The Second Amendment was put in place to protect us from a tyrannical government. I have a message for the gun-grabbing politicians. Your belligerent behavior has no place in government, and you will never I mean never touch our guns. Why is it that the people who want to take away our guns know absolutely nothing about them? Machine guns are illegal. That's right. So our AR-15 is illegal. How is that the machine guns? No, it's not. Semi-automatic. Take Thank the AR, your AR-14s and whatnot. I'm not a veteran here who would take an AR-16 with a long clip to go out and shoot a deer. A, a magazine with a hundred clips in it, a hundred bullets in it. They can take away our AR-14s our AR-16s, and all of our 100 round magazine clips. Because they don't exist. I am sick and tired of having to defend the fact that we need guns to defend our homes and hunt wildlife. I don't need an excuse to have 100 rounds. I've got the Constitution of the United States. My goal is to actually bring this country together, not further divide us. Many brave men like my grandfather, who's a 96-year-old World War II veteran, fought so we could have these rights, not so politicians could stomp all over them. For every gun-grabbing politician out there, I've got four words for you. Don't tread on us. I'm calling on all patriots to stand up to career politicians who have forgotten who they work for and whose rights they swore to protect. We are in a different era now. Challenging this opposition is not the way to win this battle, but rather opening our arms to the misinformed. We will win this battle not by belittlement, but by education. My name is Jerry Wayne, and I'm a proud member of the National Rifle Association.